So everything works out. The Baruch Hashem, we had this course to begin the Sefer Das Asvirus by Yat Kislev, and that we're learning this Maimer and Pachi Yitzchak Hanukkah and Chav Kislev. Chav Kislev is the yard side of Rav Vutner. Right now is is the Pachi Yitzchak's yard side. So it should be a schus for that tzaddik and that great Rosh Hashiva. I was able to see quite a few times and to hear a few mamar from him. It's already it's already it was nifted nineteen eighty by their calendar. It's already a while. Nineteen eighty. That's when he was nifted. Tavshin Tavshin Memi was nifted. So most of the mamar in Pachet Yitzchak Hanukkah are much too long to do in one sitting. My Gimel is Gewaldic, that's what Gimel stands for, like on the dreidel. Gans, everything. There's a lot in this Maimur. And um, I'll try. We'll try to do this, hopefully to finish the Maimur. Let's learn it quickly. Most of you are, are very familiar with the Yisaitis that are found in this Maimur because we've learned over the years these Yisaitis in the writings of Arab Tzaddik, and, uh, and many other tzaddikim, who Rav Hutner was drawing from very deeply. He doesn't mention them by name, but there's, there's the influence of Rav Tzaddik and Rav Kook over this mime is very, very obvious to anybody who's learned a little bit of those farm. Aleph. Maseches Shabbos Mascheles Bidini Hatzah. The Gemara Shabbos begins, Maseches Shabbos begins with the with the halachas of carrying from one domain to another, Hitzah. And the Rishonim Omdu Batama Dava. And the Rishonim Taisis and the Rishonim are asking why, why does the, in the Seder of, in the Seder of the Lama Tess Malachas, Hitzah is not the first one. So why, the, it's Faket, it's later on. So why, why begin with the, with the Malacha of, of Hitzah? The morale period, the Mishum, the Malachas, Hitzah, ain't in the Hegas beyond it. So the morale answer, this is a very deep thing. I think what the moral says, I'm not going to go into that right now. The moral says because Haitzah is, is in Gantz and Shabbos Dik. Because there's no, there's no Hanhaga, there's no Isra of Haitzah on Yantiv. The other Malachis, Yantiv and Shabbos, share. Okay, there's the Heterim as far as Eichel Nefesh and so on. But but Haitzah, the morale says, is, is altogether Shabbos Dik. It's a Shabbos Dik, it's a completely Shabbos Dik. Therefore, when beginning the Mesech, the Tana begins with that which is Shabbos, completely Shabbos. That's the, that's the issue of carrying. Svaras Dvarv Shal Moral. Now the svar of the morale is that if you want to understand the essence of a yontiv, now here we, he was saying this is the difference between Shabbos and yontiv. The essence somehow is connected to Yitzah, which it is. If you want to understand the essence of any yontiv, then you need to focus on what is it about that yontiv that is unique. Now, what is uniquely Hanukkah? What is, what is uniquely Purim? Not the things that they share. If you want to understand the Pneumis of Hanukkah, then it must be through something. The place to begin would be to, to look deeply into that, which, which is something which is altogether Hanukkah. It doesn't share. It's completely Hanukkah. <clears throat> What's unique about Hanukkah is that's the last yontiv. It's the end. It's the end. It's the end of the seder of all of the yomtayvim from the Torah and the yomtayvim to Rabbanan. Historically, it's the end. That's it. Hamuvan apnimi shel uv dezu. The panemius way to understand this fact is that through Hanukkah, all the Sharashim, all of those roots of Kedushas Hazman that Hashem Isbach wanted to reveal to us in this world, that that system has been completed. 
And that system is in place to carry us through all of history till Mashiach Tzikein. Till the end. Oz Egmor Bashir Mizmor Chanukah Samizbeach. Oz Egmor Bashir Mizmor Chanukah Samizbeach. Then I will finish with song, the Chanukah Samizbeach. Chanukah Samizbeach shall Oz Tehei Agmar shall Chanukah's base Hashemnoi. From Chanukah till Mashiach, everything that we need to get from from that point in time till Mashiach is was set up and Chanukah is that gavul from then from back then till the end of time and the end of time therefore when Mashiach comes it's called Oz Egmar then will be the completion of Chanukah Samizbech which is Chanukah Klemer Ad Kviyas Moed HaChanukah until Chanukah happened, until the nice of Chanukah, the bridge that would connect all of time to the end of time wasn't finished. The bridge wasn't finished. There was no way to cross. You couldn't get over. You couldn't cross over. And it's only through the Kviyas of that Yontav of Chanukah that we now have a pathway and a bridge to cross over that will take us ad ha-gemar shal ha-chanukah until the ultimate gemar of the Chanukah that's going to happen with Mashiach will there be the Chanukah's Beis HaMikdash or the third Beis HaMikdash should be Bekar V'Mamash. Asher tigom b'shir mizmor and then the song will be finished. And we'll finish that song with the Chanukah's HaMizbeach with Mashiach. But Chanukah is the bridge, is the completion, is that bridge that connects Everything that was to everything that's going to be. This this requires much deeper understanding. What does this mean? So I'm going to try to explain. Base. The Seder of the of the four exiles are explained in the Navua of Daniel. And Chazal have revealed to us that the roots of the four exiles are found in my separations. Tohu, Ba'avohu, Choshech, Usahai. At the beginning of time, the beginning of creation, Tohu and Vohu and Chosha, the darkness, and Tahom. Akkoidimim Luach Elokim, which came before Luach Elokim Rachefes al Pnei Amai, before. The Pesach Hasheni Shomai Sebreishis Heim Ha'arba Malchus Chazal have revealed to us that they are the four they are going to be manifested these four Lashinus or these four Koiches of emptiness and darkness are going to be embodied or going to be manifested in the four exiles Heim Ha'arba Malchus Hashem Al Chusam Kedem Hashem Al Chumashiach that are going to precede the coming of Mashiach Tohu Zebovel Vohu is Madai is Persia. Chayshech is Yovan is Greece. Chazal say, why is Chayshech Greece? Shech Shichu Einayim Shal Yisrael because they through their decrees they darkened our eyes. We've spoken a lot about that over the years. Shichu Einayim Shal Yisrael. Tahaim seems to be the the this Tahaim this bottomless pit that doesn't have an end. It seems it feels that way. It's been going on for so long. The Edom. That's the that's the goal that we're in right now, which is Edom, Rom. Malchus shel Edom he shibudim she Yisrael b'hayve. The one we're in right now is the shibud is the Malchus of Edom. Sholosh Malchus akoydim is him shibudim she Yisrael b'ova. The three earlier Malchus were of the past. The one we're presently in is uh, uh, Edom. If we want to try to understand this Shibud, this last goal that we're in, and how this Shibud of Edom follows or is the completion of the cycle of the earlier three Shibudim, 
for Hilach and Nimshach Bli Hefsek Ad Yemena Eila, Yemena Eila, and that through that fourth Malchus of Edom, the earlier three that that are also in some way included, as the morale explains, in that final Malchus of Edom continues without a Hefsek, without any interruption, Ad Yemena Eila. We're just living here right now in a more comfortable uh, predicament and a more comfortable way of Malchus Adam. But this is the Golis, we're in the Golis of Adam. It's just this Golis of Adam is air conditioned and televised, whatever. But it's the Golis of Adam. But there's something unique about this Golis of Adam, even though it's following the earlier three and has elements of the earlier three, as the Moral explains, and the Nesoska and other Tzadikim. Nevertheless, there's something that's unique about this final, this final Golis. That's not in the earlier ones. Kim davke b'shibud yavan, but we have to understand that whatever it is that's unique about this Malchus of Edom, Edom, Rome conquered Greece, and in many ways, the Roman Empire. For all the history students here, the Roman Empire is a hemshech of the Greek. The ancient empire of Greece, to Hemshech. It was the conquest of and the Hemshech of that culture and that way of thinking, that way of living, it was a Hemshech of the Golos of Yavan. But there, there's a unique, there's a unique manifestation in Adam, but it's a Hemshech of Yavan. So Adam is Adam is sort of a combination of Yavan Adam. And at the end of time, Yishmael joins into it, into, jumps into the, on the bandwagon. We have received in, in the Kabbalah of Nechachamim, and we actually, this is what we, we, when we, when we learn Pekiyavis, at the beginning, of the, the, the Ishtalshus, and we can see more about that when we learn the Agdom of the Rambam and so on. The first time there was a machlekes in the dinim of the Torah, which was a pluk was, was regarding the dinim of Smicha Biyantu. That was at the time. That was at the time of of the, the Golis of Yavan, continuing on through all of these long years of the Golis of Adam. That's when there was the first machlekes in Halach. In other words, our eyes were darkened and, we, and there was confusion that was brought into our eyes. Shegazra, what was the gezeira? The gezeiras of, of Yavan were all for the singular purpose of to bring about, not to kill us. That's not what the Yavan, Adam wanted to kill us. But Yavan was that we shouldn't remember Torah, we should forget Torah. We, should, we shouldn't have a clarity in our understanding of Torah. And at that exact time in history is when Machlaikis began, when disagreements in Halacha began, the confusion and debate and so on. Lashkichim to Hesecha, Hachshacha Hashikha, and Choshcha, darkness, Hachshacha, which means darkening, and Shikha, forgetting are the same letters, the same letters. Choshech and Shachoa are the same letters. The result of that darkness was that we began to forget the the the, the exact misar that we had of Torah Shabbat Peh. We began to lose our connection to it, to forget. And that brought out Lidah Machlaikis Arishnaib, the Sanhedrin, Ayeshim, and Liskus Agaz, that there was Machlaikis in the Sanhedrin sitting in Liskus Agaz, there was Machlaikis regarding this din of Smicha by the carbon, Smicha and Yantif. All of the different opinions, one of the most confusing things when a person wants to become from, and he, and he wants to be about Shuv, and he's all excited, he, he, he saw a Shabbos someplace, and, he, and he, it's beautiful, and, he, and, and, and they took him on some birthright, you know, whatever, and he's all excited, he wants to become from, and they say, well, we're, we're going to now learn with you a little bit, and then he learns, and, and he's... Umra, Abayas like this, and Rav's like this, and Birch is like this, and Rav's like like that, and then he goes through five pages, and after the five blot, he's not, none of it's, uh, it's all like this, and all, the, and then you go to the Rishonim, that's the Rambam, the Zerayvah, it's the Rif, and the Ran, and the Ritva, and the Rashban, he's overwhelmed by the, by the Chilukadeus, by the, 
by, by the arguments, by the disagreements. Riba had is. And every, every every millimeter of Yiddishkeit, there there's Reba Hadayas. There's there are different opinions. This is the Mocham of Tar. This is the war of the Tamir Chachamim. This is the war of the Bishamadrish. Haluch of Nimshul Bekav Yosha, Machshachas, next page, a name she is all Aidea Shikhas, Hashrachas Aterash, shall deserve his Yahoo. It's all a continuation of that. Of that experience of the Gezeira of Malchus Yavin that led to a darkening of our eyes, confusion, bewilderment, and the result of all of that is Machlaikis. So, therefore, it seems that all of these Machlaikis and these disagreements and debates that we have in, in Halacha are the Shirayim, or the leftovers, or the consequences. Of of that patch of that of that injury that we suffered as a result of living through Malchus Yavin, where we forgot. Shreim Kol HaYeshuv Apurkin Shal Nitzach Nachashmanoim, even though it was a Gavaldiga Nes and the Chashmanoim won, and and we have Chanukah, but Adayim is Galgelus Iyitano Oisad Sara. But let's face it, we still have this Sara. It was the Shirayim, the outcome, the consequences of that. Encounter that we had with Greece, it occupies every minute of our lives. We don't have that clarity in halacha. We don't have that clarity in in in, in the Ratzon Hashem. I shall know that they have pulled Moshe Yevonim. It all is the result of our encounter with the Yevonim and Exeris. Am the mitoch devem shachacham lameidem onu tefisa yoyisem amika begu v'shalinyan. But it's much much deeper. Gimel, and the depth of it is all alluded to in this. Sentence in the Gemara Menachem Sadik Tas that Pamim should be Tula Shel Torah Zehu Kiyuma. One of the greatest blessings that we have as a people in our life as Am Yisrael is all the Shittas Machlekes that we have in Yiddishkeit. It's the most gavaldig thing. Be Tula Shel Torah Zuhi Kiyuma. Bittul Shel Torah means if something's missing in Torah, there's something wrong. There's something empty. There's some. There's some emptiness. There's something lacking, but that gufa is the key of Torah. Now, what does that mean? What's the big bit of Torah that took place by by Martin Torah? So Moshe Rabbeinu took the luchas and he broke the luchas. It's a terrible bit of Torah. Here's the Torah Hashem in Moshe Rabbeinu's hands, and he breaks it. That bit of Torah, that destruction of Torah. That what uh, that forgetting of Torah because Luchas was smashed brought to a tremendous chiddush of Torah, a wellspring of Torah that otherwise would never have been. What does that mean? So Hashem gave Moshe many yeshakar sheshiv arate. Shviras haluchas he ma'is shal kiim Torah aydei bitulah. Shviras haluchas the ma'is of kiim Torah, the preservation of Torah through the destruction of Torah. What does that mean? Again, we've learned this many times. But Chazal say that if the luchas wouldn't have been broken, we wouldn't have forgotten any of our learning. We'd remember everything. Now what we've learned, and you remember, because we remember a little bit, that Rabbi Nachman said that one of the greatest brachas we have in life is the ability to forget. If we wouldn't forget, if we wouldn't be able to forget, we'd go, we'd go, we'd go out of our minds. Right? So what's this bracha of the breaking of the luchas? That led to Shikh Chasatayr. Because the Gemara says that if the Luchas wouldn't have been broken, nobody would ever forget anything that he learned. So forget about the Greeks, that the Greeks caused the Shikh Chasatayr. Moshe would have broke the Luchas of Shikh Chasatayr long before Greece. We learned from your Gewaldige Chiddush. We learned from your Gewaldige Chiddush. The Chiddush is, that because of Torah that's forgotten, there are going to be Jews who for the rest of time are going to be giving every ounce of energy that they have, devoting every ounce of energy that they have to reconstructing the lost Torah. And on their way to reconstructing that Torah that's lost, they're Megala Chidushe Torah and Eidu Vailu Divilikim Chaim. There's infinitely more Torah now than there was by the Luchas. Infinitely more Torah. 
ki ad ki ba'ayfe, and Hashem gives his signature. He signs off on all that Torah. And he says, Eilu elu de biglim chayim. Abay and Rav are both right. Rabbi Yochan and Rish Lakish are both right. They're both right. It's both called divri elukim chayim. If there, if there would be only one opinion that was right, and that was it, and there was nothing else, there would be less elukim chayim. There would be less elukim chayim. Now we have Eilu of Eilu. And when you start to really learn, it's Eilu of 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 Eilu <clears throat> the Gemara says that during the period of Avelus, over the death of Moshe Benu, 300 halachas were forgotten. Right away. 300 halachas were forgotten. And the Shoifet, Osniel ben Knaz, was able through his Karach of Pilpul, he's a tremendous Lamdan, that through the Pilpul of the Osniel ben Knaz, with the other Chachamim of that time, they were able to bring back these halachas. The emiss is that these 300 halachas, as the Kadmanim tell us, it doesn't mean that there were 300 separate halachas that were forgotten and now they were remembered. It could be that through, through one halacha, through one sugya, there were 300 diyunim in halacha. 300 halachas. When you learn, when you open up the Gemara and you, and you learn one sugi in the Gemara, so you open up and, uh, and you learn the uh, sugi of Chazak, of Eidech and Nemim So in that, in that one din of Eidech and Nemim Yisurin, you have hundreds and thousands of diunim in, 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 in halacha that come out from it that otherwise would not have been there. To understand in the deepest way the mohus of Eidus. What does it mean, Eidus? What's Eidech and Nemim? What does it mean, Eidech? What's Nemonus? How do we define Yisurin? So in that one in that one halacha where if you would just have the psak, that one psak, and it would be the psak of Eidach and of Misurin, we, and we would just have a psak halacha without the hundreds and thousands of diunim of discussions and conversations and back and forth and svaris that are mischadshim as a result of that machlaik is, life would be, would have much less depth, much less color, much less beauty, and there'd be less alukim chaim in the world, of God's presence in the world. The only reason there's machlokes, what the Rambam says, because of shichas ator. The Gemara says, even though halolu mitarin, this besam hadrus, these chachamim say that this thing is is tahor. The psak is tahor. The halolu mitam and the other chacham hold that what that this thing is tame. Halolu pais and halolu machshirin. Halolu pais and halolu mechayiv and mechule. Elu veelu. That's Gemara Nerevin. Elu veelu. They were looking chayim. And and of course, there's much discussion. How could that be? What does that mean? That they're both called divrei lekim chayim. And even the svar, this is svar nidchas, like we spoke about many times. Even that svar that's rejected from being the psak alocha, it's a svar amitis in Torah Hashem. Even though, even though it's it's not alocha, the alocha is tahar, and this svar is a svar of tamei. Nevertheless. The, that whole svar and the oymik of that svar is Torah Hashem. It's just for now, it's not halach. According to Ari Kaddish, like we see with Beisham Bessil, but Mashiach comes, will be different on Agam. But, but it's still called Torah Hashem. Then this is the call, Chiluke Deis, for Chilufa Shit, the same, Hagdolas at Torah, the Hadarasa. Hanolodas Davka, Bekarcha Shushikas at Torah. So we see. That all of this tremendous volume, the amount of Torah that we have, which is all Torah Hashem, and it means that every it means that if a person sits his entire life, let's see how a Jew that he wants to learn his whole life, only the shittas and the Gemara that were nidchas from halacha. <laughs> it's a mishigan, right? He only wants to learn the shittas that are not kahalach. He, he lives right. He, he does what he's supposed to do, but he oh, he, he enjoys learning the shittas. That are not kalach. It's a mitzvah of Talmud Torah. It's a, it's a kim in the mitzvah of Talmud Torah. It's a sheet that's nitchis. It's, it's a kim in the mitzvah of Torah. Meaning that that limit of Torah that he's doing of something that's not the halacha, 
that has the same ability to bring about to that state of Devekas, like the Tanya explained, and the Shaim explained, of when a person's mind is connected to Hashem's mind. That 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 interfacing of a human mind with the mind of Kivyachal himself takes place by this guy learning the Shita that's Nidchis in the Gemara, that's, that's not Kalach. That's a Havmin in the Gemara. It's a Havmin in the Gemara. So the result of Shikhis Tar is Vibra Tar. Through the forgetting of Tar, Bitula Zuhi Kiyuma. The Chiddush Dal, the Chiddush Oid Yoy Sagod Yoyt Salamikan. There's even a bigger Chiddush. To understand how what a Yantav Chanak is. Kim Rubi Midas Havlata Sakaycha Shotar Shvapa Hamazgal Machlok is a Deus, Meshib Mok Maskom is a Deus. The Kaych of Tar Shvapa is revealed infinitely more. Davke by the Machlok is much more so than when the opinions are in agreement. As I said a moment ago, that according to this, even the Shita that's Nidchis, even the Shita that's not Kaloche, it's called Das Tar. It's called Ter Sashem. It's a Chefs of Ter Sashem. As long as it's a, as long as it was, this Tar is a Tar that's that is following the Mahalach of how we're supposed to learn Torah Shabbat. That doesn't mean that every single guy that decides to put himself up on a website or to advertise, you know, to advertise himself in the Jewish press with a big picture that he's that he's the biggest bucket sheer on earth and look at his website. That that, that, that means that that's that's called Das uh, Torah. That's called the Chaps of Torah. It all depends. I don't mean thing against the Jewish press. I don't, I don't mean to insult. <laughs> it was just always when we were growing up. That was always a muscle for something. So I, I just <laughs> stayed with me. I don't mean it in any bad way. Behind the Mishum de Tur and Nitna, I'll die to Shachach me a Tur. Your Tur was Nitna, I'll die to Shachach me a Tur. Because Hashem's book said in his Tur, Hashem's book himself taught in his Tur, I saw some of Hashem's book in a small. Hashem's book told us that I wanted to listen to Chachamin. I give my stamp on, on every single day, as long as these are days that are, that are following the Mahalach that Tur should be learned. Hashem's book signs each of these days. Eidu Veil, Yom in a small. That's the last of the Ramban. I'll die to him. The Torah was given. I'll die to him. Shall have me a Torah. Vim Yam do Laminion Achakar the Achviu Kadas and Nitris. We can't veil of Tishtana Halach, Alibademus. And therefore, again, we're not going through the whole Hilchas Mamram and how all of this works in Halach. But if there's a Bezdom, which is God, which we see that there's a Bechachma Minion, there's a Bezdom that's Royal Kach, and that Bezdom then says that that be Amenu in our times, this is the Halach, so they're able to override. The earlier Bezdin. There are Tanoim, there are conditions. I'm not going to know how that happens. But then that becomes, that becomes what? The Halacha Aliba Damas. That's the Halacha Aliba Damas. They came to Chazanish crying because they found all kinds of Ksavim back then in the in the early 50s. They were beginning to find, late 40s, early 50s. They're finding all kinds of Ksavim, the, the Vatican and other places. And they found, so they found the whole Meiri, that we never had the Meiri. And then they found the whole miris on the whole shas, the whole not just a little some of the chedush, but the whole miri and other Risham that they were beginning to find. So then all these people got all these tamid chum were terrified that maybe everything we're doing is wrong, because had we known the shita samiri, or had we had this gears of the ram, or had we known what the rambam said, and we didn't have that rambam, so everybody ever said, so what, what are we doing with our lives? And the chaznis, the chaznis like didn't. It didn't cause him to like even one beat of perspiration. The Chaznish just smiled and said, But we didn't have that. And it wasn't the Rotz Hashem that we have that. And Hashem's Baruch didn't sign off on that. Hashem's Baruch only signed off on what we got. Who's the Balabas of what we got we didn't get? It's not our fault that the guy took some of our Torah. The British had an Indian, whatever that, for whatever reason, that there was Torah that was taken. This is the Torah that he wanted us to have. And this is what we're Isaac in. With the kaiches that we have to learn Torah, we said there was some magic to try to understand what the Rambam was saying. God, that's it. I'm not going to make myself crazy to see that there was a different girsa from from the, this ksavyad, and this ksavyad was was stolen, and this ksavyad was missing, and now and now uh, somebody was uh, was going on a a tour someplace, <laughs> and he came across a ksavyad, and now this ksavyad is going to change halacha. So now all of us are going to put on film differently, and all of us are going to start benching lulav differently. Chazani says, "Show my for not. It's the all hashkach Hashem. 
Everything's Ashkoch is Hashem. Exactly what was to be found and what's not to be found. Exactly what the Torah was that we built all Torah Shavuot is built in such a way. Therefore, the disagreements that we have in Allah reveal the Koch of Torah Shabbat Peh much more than the agreements that they have. Much more when there's a consensus. The Melchama, the war that takes place in the base Medrash between the, the Tamini Chachamim, isn't just another, another aspect of, of Talmud Torah. It's a very positive, wonderful, exciting gift that we have in Teres Hashem that there's no other Chachm in the world that is that is studied and learned in such a way. No other Chachm is in such a way. Yitzirah Chiyuvah Shal Erechei Torah Chadashim that Hashem Yitzvah Baruch gave human beings the ability to be Mechadish Chidish and Torah and that Hashem Yitzvah says this Chidish that you have I, I'm signing on it. And like they have the famous Machlokis and Bava Mitzvah, the Tarsh Lachanoi, how could it be? And, the, and he was being all kinds of Nisim to show that the Allah is on the Baskal comes out and says, the Allah is in the, and the Chalm said, Torah, Lord, Shemayim, me. This is how we pass in here on earth. And the Baruch Shalom smiled and he said, it's Chulibon, and Hashem signs. He says, they're right. That's the Allah. But they're wrong. No. They're right. Because what the Allah, they pass in the Kalach, and, they, and we go, Achra, and the Chacham pass in like that, and therefore, that's how Allah is like a Chamnak blessing, and, and, and therefore the Baruch Shalom says, Allah and Kabbalah. That's the Allah. She'ain limbs of Dugmosim, Divay Taristam. That's more than Divay Taristam. That's more than, that's, that's, Yeshakenim in the Minishika speak, he toy from the Dechem Yain. That the love of the Jewish people through Tarisha Wapah is, is greater than the love that, of Tarisha Bachsav. Our love that, that we have for Hashem that's revealed through all the years of, of, of struggling to understand Torah's Hashem. And Achish Kosh Baruch says, Chaviv malai divrei soifim. That I love divrei soifim Torah Shabbat Peh more than Torah Shabbat Peh. Hashem says such a thing. That Hashem Shabbat himself says, Chaviv malai divrei soifim. Hey, Al-Kain, he says in Pasuk in Midbar, Al-Kain, Yomar, B'Seifim Al-Chamas Hashem. As Vahiv B'Sufa, this thing, this place, is called Vahiv, there's a, there's a book that's called Sefer Muhammad Hashem. What does that mean? What's that book? Sefer Muhammad Hashem. There's a, bo- a book that has all the wars of, of the Jewish people. And as Vahev Besufa. Vahev in the place of Sufa. Chazal, Mepharshim, what's Vahev Besufa? Or Pishu Chacham. Afilo, and Chazal say that the rem is over here is Afilo of Ubenoi, even a father and his son. Rav. With Talmidai, a Rebbe and his student. Nasim Sainam Zelazem, when they're learning, when they're arguing, they're the biggest enemies. They're screaming and yelling at each other. They're Mamish enemies. But they don't leave the Besa Medrash until they're once again the biggest I have, the biggest friends, that they love each other in the deepest way. So if you want to say this just is a nice idea, it means that the best friends are the guys that learn together in yeshiva. You know, when you learn together in yeshiva, those are the best friends. But that's not the that's not the oimik. That's nice, but that's not the oimik. The hainu shekoycha shel chibur ahav is a gadol who ad kedei avtarches are raised and they're not afilu elish mekaidim. Now the same as a keilu. Then the meaning of it is that even though they're yelling and screaming at each other and they're so upset with each other. But because this all is happening through Torah, uh, they're, they're the best friends. That's very sweet. That's also true. But that's not the Oymek. Because that means that despite the fact that while they were arguing, they were at war with each other and they were angry at each other, despite that, they, they came back to loving each other. That's the simple way of looking at it. But since we just now learned, we're now learning that the the or the light that comes as a result of machlokes and taira is greater, infinitely greater than the light of taristam without machlokes. That the deeper meaning of this Gemara is not that these these two these these two guys these friends they love each other now despite the machlokes. 
What does it mean now? They love each other more because of the Machlaikas. Ah, there's no, there's no love that's more Gishmach than that. That's why Rabbi Yochanan couldn't live without Rabbi Lakish, right? Rabbi Yochanan couldn't go on living without Rabbi Lakish. It's an amazing thing. When, 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 when Rish Lakish lost all of his children, you know, they all died, terrible, it was a tragedy, these all kinds of crazy things. And then he was able to go on living. But when Rish Lakish died, Rabbi Yochanan said, Rabbi Yochanan can't go on living. So they brought, you remember what the Gemara says, they brought somebody, they brought a big Tamochacham, somebody to learn with him, to learn with <laughs> Rabbi Yochanan, but he was agreeing with everything Rabbi Yochanan was saying. And, and Rabbi Yochanan couldn't stand it. Rabbi Yochanan said, I, Rish Lakish used to, used to scream and yell at me, and he would disagree with me for each thing that I said. He would go 24 times against everything that I said. He said, but to have somebody that says yes to me, for this I can't go on living. That's, that's, that's the Muhammad of Tyra. That's not, that, that's, that Rabbi Yochanan Rish Lakish, besides their brothers, Rabbi Yochanan Rish Lakish, that they loved each other despite the fact that they're always fighting and learning. Their love is the greatest and deepest love because of their fighting. That can get tricky in marriage, but it's there, there, <laughs> there's, there's some truth to that as well. But that's shaloika halacha. Ela shakachi derech idul shalahav zushi in the letters from his gadolus davka al karka machloika sekademus. But but there's no time to talk about. The truth is that if they could survive, the, the couple could survive those earlier disagreements until they adjust to each other's life. This one's Hungarian, this one's Galician, this one's Svad, this one's Ashkenazi, whatever it is, this one's from Persia, this one's, this one's from Iraq. If they, could, if they could adjust and get through those Mulchamas, then the relationship, of course, is infinitely, is infinitely deeper than it was when they were like some uh, little boy and girl going out and having an ice cream together. It's much deeper if they make it through or else they can get destroyed. Because the greatest love comes when two join together to create something new, something that never was. There's no greater love than that. These two, these two Tamir Chama are screaming and yelling and fighting and, and are going at each other. The mamish goring each other in their learning. They are shutfim, they are partners to, in creating something, something new. So they need a husband and wife and having a child. is something new in the world. The name of this battle is the is called the name is Milcham Toshotar, the War of Tyre. Vav, let's finish. We go back to the beginning. Yes, forgetfulness in Tyre, Machloikis in Tyre, darkness in Tyre. That really, really was set into motion. I mean, all the way by Mishra Bain, of course, really from Bereshis when it says Chayshach, but. In earnest, as a result of the Choshech of what? Of Greece? Of, of, of that Mocham that we had, or that encounter that we had with, with Greece? Other It's not that, we, that Torah has survived despite the Greeks. It's not that. We have a big Yashakayach to them. The defeat of Yovan is not, is not that we remember something that we forgot. The defeat of Yovan is that we've been spending all of this time building new and new skyscrapers, magnificent, magnificent coliseums of Teres Hashem, of Yiddishkeit, because of what they tried to do to us. Because of the Choshech of Yovan. That's the Nitzachim. That from the darkness itself, we pulled out light. What's the light from the darkness of forgetting Torah from Yavan? We were able to draw out, and we're still drawing out light, more light, and more light. And there's more Torah now in the world than there was before, most far more Torah than there was before. Yad al Torah Yad. The Torah is getting stronger and stronger and bigger and brighter over the years. How did that happen? Because of Shikhas Torah, because of Yavan. When it comes to the earlier Goliaths, yes, the, the, the defeat of Bavel meant that, oh, we're finally finished with them. And the defeat of Persia, oh, we're finished with those anti Semites. We're done with them. That was defeating them and getting rid of them and eliminating them from our lives. But when it comes to Yovan, the defeat of Yovan continues on and on and on. 
You're still defeating them every time you open up a safe and learn. Every time you argue and learning. Every time you come up with some, a, a, a little boy in fifth grade discovers something new in the Pasuk that he's learning and he understands Rashi. Every single moment of Limanat Torah is the, is the Mapala of Yovan. It's Hanukkah Dikta. The 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 maka itself of Yovan is the cure. It's like the poison of the snake is the is the cure. The poison of Yovan is the cure of that poison. Like we said, Alan Isa, when the Malchus of Yovan, the evil people of Yovan came and they wanted us to forget the Torah. Yeah, that through that act of Yovan and their Xeris of causing us to forget her, they didn't realize they were opening up wellsprings of new Torah. Through all the Pilpulum of Torah, through all the years of history. Because we're still struggling every moment of our lives to try to re- reconstruct and to remember the Torah that was forgotten. And in our effort to do that, to try to get back to Moshe Rabbeinu and Hasinai. Chanukah, he acquires our Chwene Besidre is one of Shemar the others. Therefore, Chanukah is the last Yantiv. We came in Shagam, but Gufa Chayshech. What does Chanukah mean? Chanukah means that Hashem is saying, listen, Chavra, there's going to be a long time of darkness now. It's going to be a lot of gullahs coming up. It's going to be very, very dark. Your, your mission through those years of darkness is not to somehow manage to survive is to be able to use the darkness to bring more light. That that darkness is going to bring to more light. And that's so it is in every one of our lives. Lord Lane, if we have to go through anything in our lives that's dark and difficult, the tachlis of that is, is ribui or new ways of thinking about divulikim chayim, of connecting to Hashem. We came in Shagam, Bagufa, Cheshish, Hashikha, Atzmi, Tach, Limsa, Nitsutse, Erish, Ribui, Tari, to find for the presence of light in that darkness. That's what Golis is about, to be able to find Hashem in that darkness. That give, through, the, through what happened with Yavan, Yavan didn't realize they were preparing for us a way to be able to continue along the, on that road, all through, through the long years of Golis Adam, and all along that road, we're going to be able to pick up more and more bundles and bucketfuls of light of Hashem's Torah and Hashem's presence. And that's what's going to carry us and give us life. That's the bridge that we can cross over to get to Achazon, to get to Mashiach. Throughout time, throughout history, any Jews who stop learning Torah Shalapah, they're no longer Jewish. Their children and grandchildren are not Jewish anymore. Only those who continue learning Gemara and learning Torah Shalapah, they're still Jewish. Anybody who stopped learning Torah Shalapah, they're not Jewish anymore. It's a matter of a generation, too. They're not Jewish. It, there's no bridge to get to the end without... Without, without all the Torah that comes from the Xeris of Yovan and our, and our learning to reconstruct all of the Torah. Those are the only Jews that are still Jews. All of the Jews are lost, they're gone. This takes us to Arach Hashem. Oz Egmor, Bashir Mizmor, Chanukah Samizbeh. Oz, Oz Egmor, and then, and then we're going to finish. When Mashiach comes, we're going to, when Mashiach comes, then we're going to complete the third base of the Chanukah Samizbech, and then the and Oz Egmor Bashir we're going to be song. Then there's going to be the completion of that of Chanukah Samizbech that began with the Chanukah that took place by the days of Chashmonayim. It's brought down in the Shmuel from Slanim when the when when uh, Yaakov was fighting with the Malchave. So he says he says Shachiri Kiyamad Shacha, send me away because the sun is coming up. And he says Lo Shal Echel Kim I'm not going to. Uh, Yaakov says, I'm not going to let go of you unless you give me a bracha. And the Mishmul says that when a person has an encounter with the side of evil and, and, you, and, you, and you defeat the evil, you have to say, I'm not going to just let, I'm not going to let you go unless you give me a bracha. The bracha that we have from, from our Muhammad with Yovan is Tarish Valpeh. That's the bracha that we have. From the Muhammad that we have with, it, with, that, with that sour Shal of, of forgetfulness, we have the bracha. That we got a bracha that came out of the mouth of Yovan, and Yovan is, is saying, You're going to be learning so much Torah. You have no idea how much Torah you're going to be learning because of our riches. We're going to suffer. We're going to get, get, get it in the Haba. We're going to be punished for all that we did to you. We're going to get punished. But as far as you guys are concerned, I, 
we, we, it, we're giving you all the Torah that you can have and all the Torahs is coming from us. It's coming from us. And now Yavim says, I have to leave because the Baruch Shalom is turning their artillery over a little bit. It's time to go out. But that's all the Torah that we have. That's the Yontem of Hanukkah. Is Alz Egmo, we should be Zerker with that song of Hanukkah Samizbeh, because I'm going to be the Samen. Amen. 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 Amen.